report. Now, the Central Bank of Nigeria's Monetary Policy Committee raised the monetary policy rate by 50 basis points to 27.25% on September the 24th. This decision, according to the CBN, aims to address persistent core inflation pressures, maintain positive real investment rates to attract investment, manage liquidity and curb foreign exchange demand. Whether the successive rate hikes have been effective remains debatable. However, these monetary policy actions have undoubtedly reshaped and will continue to reshape Nigeria's investment landscape and stock market. Now, founder and chief research officer at Invest Data, Ambrose Omodion, joins me now for more on the conversation on the stock market. Thanks for joining me, Ambrose. I can hear you, yeah. Thanks for All right, now, here. market activity Hello? surged uh, with trading volume up 21% um, to 2.57 billion shares from 2.12 billion the previous week. Now, despite a lower opening on Monday, gains from Tuesday and Wednesday were maintained, even with declines in the last two days. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, actually, it was a mixed market for the week, but I believe that the uh, investors are putting their portfolio as regard what the outcome of the NPC meeting, where another rate hike was, was, was experienced or was made by the committee. I believe that uh, as we go into the last quarter of the year, and we expect that the last uh, NPC meeting is coming up on the you know, on the month of November, investors will continue what kind of reporting their portfolio. But the good thing is that the uh, Nigeria market is in on a bullish run in any standard, anywhere in the world, whenever the stock market is above uh, 20 percent, that that market is bullish. I can tell now that both the Nigeria market is bullish. Despite the, the mixed match you know, economic policy of the government, both monetary and the physical authority, but the economy is running on its own block. That market is still positive. It's all because the sentiment and monetary market is different from what is happening in the economy. We look at the economic data that are coming in terms of uh, macroeconomic data. Look at the admin tell you that uh, the economy is still struggling, but still the market is still positive. For me, that is why I investor that you must as part of your portfolio. Government policy might affect one sector or the other. But all you do don't stay in one position. Once the policy has a positive impact on any sector, move your portfolio there and make money. Because no here in the world, government remain in the investor or the invest, uh, what, what we call investment of policy. Because their policy has negative or positive impact on any market in anywhere in the world. Okay, so uh, the market um, has um, closed on three consecutive weeks at a positive note. Now, the ASI has risen by uh, 0.21%. Uh, somehow, we are gradually inching to the 90,000 uh, marks as positive sentiment continues to prevail, particularly in the banking sector. What are your thoughts, really? Yeah, for me, the, the, the company that are really impacted positively by government policy are, are the one driving the, the policy sentiment we are seeing or the moment we are seeing the market. Because despite that the risk sector is struggling, some sectors that benefit from government policy are in fact, you can see what is happening in the financial sector, mm -hmm. insurance, and the banking sector. With their numbers coming to the market, shows that they are enjoying high interest rate policy of the CBN. Why the risk sector that employ Nigerians that drive the growth are suffering because of high interest rate? That's why every investor anywhere in the world will not do work with government policy or regulators' policy. I believe that this is what's making the market positive. But for in Nigeria to remain, in green, just of making money, we must follow our course, set our rotation to work to make money in the equity market as far as entering what the last quarter of the year. Don't forget that anywhere in the world, last quarter of the year is the most active quarter because mm -hmm. that is where people that are sleeping from first quarter to quarter want to come and you know, achieve what is not achieved for the year. For that, we see government spending more. And then in Nigeria, we're hearing that government want to release funds to, to the economy in the last quarter of the year. It's also what we're waiting for. These are things that will drive their momentum to expect it. Personality will be there, sentiment will be there. Eh? These are the things that investors will put into a control when they are investing. Anywhere in the world, don't ignore government policy, either monetary or physical or regulatory policy. They are very, very important because mm -hmm. they drive sentiment and also flow of form. Okay, last week uh, uh, we had them um, 45 equities uh, seeing price increases up from 41 at uh, the previous week. I wonder what could be the reason for this. But then again, let's still talk about the banking index. The NGX banking index rose 2.45% to 933.79, boosted by access holding PLC's positive um, first half of 2024 results, improving its year to day return from minus 17.93 to about minus 15. Now, however, Zenith Bank's or a year to date return fell to minus 2.46%, while other tier one banks improved, with a federal uh, first bank of Nigeria seeing the highest increase at 19.53%. What is your assessment of um, the banking index generally? 
you are actually you know perception is very key when it comes to investment because the primary market, primary market activity of the banks investors are playing with what with their intelligence before don't forget that in 2006 where we had this uh no solution preparation we said that many banks were in the market to this one at the end of the day most investors got their finger bone for that provided money for the bank to expand the banks are enjoying what they are doing because of the preparation then but now that they are doing most investors are looking at other sectors and coming back from for results that came from these banks and especially the first care banks in the half year show that these banks are very heavy and strong and also because of the latest policy that is running almost two years we have seen a great hike it's also impacting positively on the bank and let's still talk about um, the bank recapitalization which is still ongoing what should investors be uh, conscious of and um, what are the key issues to for me, the recommendation is a good, uh, it's a good for the market, for investors, and for the economy. For any economy to, you know, to develop or to grow, you need your banking sector to be solid, and that is why CPM, you know, kind of uh, the, um, how the bank the capital actually need to drive the expected uh, growth and development in the economy. The good thing is that at this stage, this stage, investors, you know, their investment objectives should guide them. No, if they are long-term investors, no banks are free to be because any given time they are the engine of any economy. But if you're a short-term investor, you have to play with the bank mm -hmm. because no, no, no intelligent investors are in the Nigeria market as we speak today. And that is why most of the banks also they are selling, they are already sold below the market price. That's why they struggle. But I think that uh, recently we saw what uh, UBA did now with the result they just released today. I mean, of, uh, of, uh, of, of two naira. We saw the uh, unit bank paying one naira. We saw that of uh, Inco paying one naira. And the uh, standard bank is paying two naira. And that of Passage Bank with 40 people. And the thing that we can work in terms of the digital, they are not the player. So for trader, we need to drive the market at the short time. We need to have a good relief. We need to part of the market more as we don't need the market. For now, between now and 2026, the banks will also be doing this side. So we have now left for investors to look at what will happen in the future. Because the banks need to dilute their earnings because we are going to increase their share in issue. That will affect their world, their earnings capacity in terms of what no earnings per share. We know that through the directive from God, and if they are the money that we collect, they will that business. And not forget that most of these banks are going to do work in this structure. This is close for the bank to to raise more money in. I believe that in terms of the thinking one, we can go with the bank that are now and buy into the public profile depending on the price. But I believe that price is very for any business they are making. I think that the public uh, the, the, uh, public offer and right issue are two other options in the market. We go for it, but that is the wrong thing better. But for three now, we are trading the work, work with the price. Oh, we said we are making money coming. That is why every investor in the market will have to pursue for a long term and for a short term so that we don't have to borrow it at any given time. All right. Uh, earlier when you talked about um, how government's um, policy has um, indeed impacted on the NGX and of course um, investors, um, you know, you know, activities and of course performance um, so far. Uh, specifically, we all are aware of how uh, the MPC uh, raised uh, the MPR uh, by 50 basis points to 27.25 uh, percent um, just about um, a week ago. So let's talk about the impact of the MPR, uh, the increases on, on the um, NGX. Activities. You know, in, in, anyway, you have a circular flow of fund. And what drives this circular flow of fund is, uh, is interest rates anywhere in the world. Now, you know, if you look at what is happening in the mature economy, we are seeing that uh, they are closing the door for work for rate hike. I uh, think that that will drive the economy because they see that you know, they've increased rates for a long time, we need to check the inflation in the mature economy. And that is why they are doing what you know, we call uh, easy now. But Nigeria, on the last interest rate meeting, we saw that, yes, Despite you know, the global economy is closing down for a little time, we are seeing that yes, at the end of the year, we saw an increase. I will tell you that, you know, if you know that you know, our economy is different from others, and that's why our managers should change outside the world, not just with uh, new ideas, because that's how we have a story in the world. Our case is different from what we are seeing in the market economy. Our, our interest rate, uh, sorry, our inflation is not given by any economy in circulation, but because of all, issue. That issue that should be addressed, which is a uh, insecurity, you know, cost of uh, transportation, cost of energy, is a rising world inflation. So it is you know, people insist that to not to kind of cope or kind of uh, checkmate inflation and that is too early that will be the economy arm. Uh, why I say so that the more you increase that day, many companies will pretty sure unemployment will be on the right, it is going to be on the right. It depends on the model you are using. As you are speaking now, I will tell you that that's on the four billion coming from board. Already uh, retired. If you lose 
Microsoft TV, you are kind of removed some front of you from opening. If you buy your exchange rate, you also have put a scare. For now that we are going to increase rate, what all these things are still running, make sure the economy is struggling. I believe that there will be time for the entity to look at what will be the thing that will kind of, kind of trigger or, or stimulate the economy as we speak now. Which is all also rich. Because if you don't decide, this world will not expand. It will not do more. Why are they going to go? They want to manage your government. And also, the cost of running will be high. I believe that it is time for NPC to start in. Now, thank God that they still have a permanent NPC meeting coming in, in uh, November. They might start to increase change, not just that they increase for now. Let me know what the impact of this last year, you know, adjustment upward. We we'll see what happens between now and uh, November. Mm. November, they can leave it from change to work because I tell you, by sacrificing the economy, the world to attract foreign firms. Foreign firms is not here to stay. Especially if you go for a work for a investor, they are here to make money and go. Unless your economy is being attractive, then attract more from. I believe that our FPC members will think that Nigeria is not really just attract for foreign firms. It's what the man will develop their own economy. And that's right. Nigeria. Because if you put a little bit high, then Nigeria will be on the ship. But if it is low, the man will be able to attract and employ more Nigeria. That will create more employment for Nigeria. I believe that this security okay. is just going to be to a real type in Nigeria. All right, Ambrose, now as we begin to um, wrap up now, you know, September, today is the end of um, September and the beginning of a new uh, trading week. But uh, what, let's now, you know, project for October. What do you um, see happening vis-a-vis -vis, uh, market activities? And of course, uh, it is the last quarter of the year, Christmas and all. So how do you see the, uh, the, the NGX uh, towards the end of the year? Most a very big thank you to you. I have been speaking with stock market analyst and researcher Ambrose Omodia, and we have been looking at September stock market review and the bank recapitalization watch. Many thanks for being a part of the show, Ambrose. All right, that's the size of the show for today. You've heard from the analyst, and of course, you know what to expect for. Uh, October Independence Month and of course for the rest of um, the year which is the last quarter. That's the size of the show. We'll be back again same time next time. My name is Justin Akadomi. Bye for now. <laughs>